Just you now, and it'll be over before you know it. Yeah, man, we'll be right here cheering you on. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Look, mine is worse than all of yours, okay? All Sam had to do was hold a mouse. It wasn't a mouse, it was a filthy rat. Calm down, let's not call my rat names. Rusty, your rat is riddled with diseases. Okay, it's large, it's ugly, it's despicable. It was not that big. It was gargantuan. Enormous. No. Tremendous. You got it. You got it. You got it. Fine. It was kind of big. But mine is still worse. Whatever, just do it, Kyle. Okay, you got this. Just use the script we wrote and you'll be fine. Look, guys, it's five o'clock in the morning. I really don't feel like speaking to anyone right now. Can I please just eat my norms in peace? Come on, man, just do it. For me. Bye. Bye. Excuse me, fine patrons of Norm's All-American Diner. I humble myself before you, a young boy, before all you elders, sketchy dudes, and, and you veterans. Thank you for your service, by the way. This here is a culmination of eight years of friendship. I stand by my brothers as they have stood by me through thick and thin, mountains and valleys, joys and pains. Today, we seek to overcome what has troubled us the most. We yearn to destroy our demons. We fight to conquer our fears with you all here. Now, I, Kyle of Fresno, hereby read my mind, my body, and my soul of my greatest fear in the fear book. Public speaking, I hereby declare you Halfway through. Six damn Kyle, where'd you get this? My uncle has a sweatshop. Your uncle made these in a sweatshop? Yeah. Do you know what a sweatshop is? Yes. Whatever. Uh, Rusty, would you do the honors? <clears throat> Kyle, you have stared public speaking in its eyes and crushed it. To you be the honor. To he be, be the, the honor. honor. As such, I bestow upon you your reward. May this quill remind you of the strength that words hold. May you write and speak with elegance forevermore. Be careful with that. Probably got like fleas or scabies or lice or something. You just tell us of what you got. <gasps> Honestly, this this means the world to me. Thank you. But enough about me. Looks like it's Max's turn now. Max! Today, you are being ushered into manhood. By jumping into that ocean, your fear of water will be eradicated. Guys, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, come on, do we have to go through this every single time one of us faces our fears? Shut up, Sam! 
It'll take his time. No, no, guys, you don't understand. Don't worry, Max, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Yes, he does. Sam. No, it's not fair. I could have gone scurry from that rat, and all he has to do is get a little wet. Why, every time we try to conquer our fears, you have to be a condescending, negative butthole about it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. All he has to do is get a little wet. And what, he's scared because he can't take a shower? You calm down for one second and give the man time, he'll jump in there. Well, there you go. Proud of him. I should understand how he's lived in California his entire life and he's never been to the ocean. None of us made fun of you for being scared to hold a mouse, Sam. It's a rat. It's no difference. Well, mouse have relatively large ears for their head size and they also have thicker teeth. They're more agile with their, with their clawing ability. Sammy, Sammy, Thicker Sammy, diameter Sammy, bodies. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. <laughs> I don't give a dick. <laughs> all right, I'm good, I'm all right. Just check it. Where's Max? You can't swim. I don't know, it just never came up. But your form was great. You're like a black Ryan Lochte. Thanks, man. I actually felt great until I started drowning and everything. Hmm. I might even take up sailing. Really? Yeah. Marry a mermaid, have some mer kids, be a mer daddy. Hell yeah. Dope, man. Max. I believe this is yours. Thanks, guys. Seriously, I couldn't have done it without you. You've been the best friends a guy could ever ask for. Of course, man. Well, now I guess it's Rusty's turn. To conclude this evening, we will endure the apex of our festivities together. In unity. Rusty, it is time for you to conquer your fear. I don't know if we should do this. I mean, can't we just like, shave our heads? Come on, we already agreed to this. Rusty, are you sure this is what you want to do, man? Sam, we're going to do this. We can't let Rusty deal with this alone. This permanent mark will be a reminder that no matter what, we're here for each other. No matter how big or small the fear. You good, Sam? Yeah. To he be the honor. To he be the honor. Cool brands, Kyle. Where'd you get these? My uncle. Sweatshop uncle? No, different uncle. Three. Yeah, I'm three. Yeah. One. Two.
wasn't so bad. Yeah. The excruciating pain only lasted a few hours. I think I can finally feel my arm again. We'll always remember this, though. Nothing will keep the boys down. Nothing. Thanks, guys. But you know, we can stop dancing around the word. I'm going to my first chemo. Today. And it's fine. This whole fear book thing has actually really helped. So thanks, guys. I've accepted it. And it sucks. But it's fine. You know, I'm just gonna count down, and we'll say it on three. One, two, three. I have yeah. cancer! Yeah. Rusty, we conquered our fears today. But you have to conquer yours every day. But you won't be alone. We'll be with you every step of the way. Keep this as a reminder. I love you, man. Thanks. Now, uh, let's get you to your appointment. And I need to get this checked out because I'm in excruciating pain. Yeah, I haven't felt the left half of my body for several hours, so can we just please go? Yeah, it's just... Yeah. Uh.